What's going on my Mongolian Sea Pirates? Uh, today we're actually going to be going over my Candy Valley Endurance. I've got it AFKable uh, through Wave 30 solo. I don't know about how team 4 player, uh, but this will definitely get you through solo AFKable. As long as you have the trap durability for it. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be starting a series on my uh, Candy Valley Endurance. Uh, so today we're going to be going over the Storm Shield South. Um, it's a relatively simple build, and we just recycle the husks, but uh, there's a couple of concepts you guys need to learn, and we have to learn, go over my traps that I'm using for this. So one concept is we're going to be creating something called sandwiches and full sandwiches. You don't really need full sandwiches anymore, but I created this block off a long time ago uh, with uh, full sandwiches, and it worked, so we're not going to do that anymore, or we're just going to keep it how it was. So uh, the first concept is a sandwich is a cone edited one way and then surrounded by walls. What this is going to allow the husks to do is it's going to make them have to beat through three layers of uh, walls. So they'd have to go one, two, and then they'd have these two walls to go through. Uh, a full sandwich is uh, a sandwich with a uh, edited floor in there as well. So they'd have to go one, two, three, four. Um, the reason I say we don't have to use full sandwiches as much is uh, the, the Vocaloid Nylon said uh, he's been testing these a lot, and uh, these only count for about a fourth of the, the layering that can be provided by just like a regular wall or a cone. So we don't have to use these as much, but they are in the build just because this block off was done a long time ago. Uh, and it, if it works, I'm going to keep it. Uh, but So let's go over the pathing of the tunnel, then I'll show you guys the traps. So the pathing of the tunnel, uh, we're going to start with the, the husk spawning uh, right around here. Uh, over here, and all the way over on this side of the storm shield. So this is storm shield south. So uh, they'll they'll spawn here. Uh, they'll spawn over there, and they'll spawn over there. So what we're going to try to get them to do is we want them to path right here, up here, up this ridge, along here. Uh, they're gonna hit wall launchers. Wall launchers. They're gonna come through here. They're going to cross this wooden floor spike, and then they're going to come across this ridge, and we're going to try to wall launcher them down to the east. Uh, and then they're going to walk all the way over here and then try to beat on your storm shield. This should be a sufficient amount of tunnel to get you through any wave and endurance, and Candy Valley at least. Um, honestly, this only gets hit usually once, the storm shield, unless it's on a random wave, and that's why we have it so trapped out anyways. We could potentially just have maybe the trap tunnel up to right here. Uh, if it was just for wave one, but we have to trap it out for the entirety of the storm shield defense because it can get hit on random waves. So um, the way we're doing this is we're going to look at my traps real quick uh, and how I have them rolled for endurance now, as well as uh, we're going to tell you step by step how to build this. So uh, we're going to look at the traps real quick. So one of the big traps is uh, ceiling drop traps. I have two different schematics. I have one that's going to be double durability. Um, so it's going to be uh, crit rating, crit damage, durability, reload speed, durability. And there's one that's going to be uh, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Um, we have ceiling electric fields, which are going to be uh, crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit rating, or crit damage, and then uh, increased building health. Which you can put durability on this if you're lacking durability instead of increased building health. As well as ceiling zappers, which are going to be energy, damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, durability. Um, we have wall launchers, which I just have standard, uh, three impact, two reload speed and durability wall launchers on here. Uh, wooden floor spikes, which are just set up like this. Honestly, they don't really matter. Uh, if you're doing like a stallier build, you want to go with stuff without damaging perks on it and something low level. But since we're killing them here, it doesn't really matter. Um, I have sound walls, which are perked with two reload speed, all durability and one effect duration. Uh, let's see, what else is in this tunnel? Um, let's see, tar pits. And the tar pits are just going to have all durability on them. If you guys don't have durability, or if you guys don't have tar pits or sound walls yet, you can research them from the, uh, collection book now. So that's a really good thing for those of you guys that don't have these two event lock traps. Um, as well as, uh, let me check to see if there's any wall darts. They're not. Okay, so those are the main traps we're going to be using for this. So, um... A, what we're going to start off doing is I'm going to have a too high ceiling, uh, ceiling electric field, uh, that, uh, like it's too high. So if it goes off, uh, these don't go off and damage propane, the propane aren't going to hit them because the propane exp uh, explosion radius isn't going to reach that. So it's too high a ceiling electric field, uh, spawn trap. This is just to kill off, like, 
husks uh, before they get to our trap tunnel, so we don't waste their ability on our trap tunnel. And propane won't uh, explode our trap tunnel off the bat. So uh, on these ramps, I have uh, ceiling drop traps. What this is going to allow us to do, these are going to be the two durability one. Uh, when a husk comes here, these are going to drop all the way down here. They're going to hit into the husk. The husk is going to stagger backwards and roll back down this hill with the drop traps, um, as well as we're going to have it over here to the left. Um, as we're going along, I have a ceiling zapper because this is going to be able to one-shot propane husks uh, so they don't go off in our tunnel, as well as we have a sound wall here uh, that's taking the... Um, propane off of them as well. Uh, try to get their propane off of them so they can't explode our tunnel, as well as a wall launcher that wall launches everything all the way back over here so they have to walk along this little ridge again. We have a wooden floor spike to slow them down, um, as well as another sound wall that's going to be over off to the left side here, and then a wall launcher that's going to push them all the way back to spawn. Uh, we're going to cut right. There's going to be more wooden floor spikes. Uh, there's going to be another ceiling zapper above, and there's going to be a wall uh, launcher that's going to send them back into spawn again. So then they're going to cut across here. I have these little uh, quarter low wall uh, pieces that are just uh, making sure that they path along to the right over here and then right along here so they don't uh, just skip over this tile and cut the, the short path. Uh, we have the sound wall again here with a ceiling electric field above. Uh, this is where we're going to start really like damaging the husks because I'm confident the sound walls will have taken the propane off by here. We're going to have a wooden floor spike above or uh, below, and then we're going to go into a tar pit with these little quarter pieces. Now, these quarter walls are important for this little recycler here because of the... Uh, the wall launchers. So if smashers come along here uh, and they're on the right side of this, they'll get pushed by the wall launcher, get stunned. They'll go one step, two step, and then they'll fall down here. Uh, so it's going to be relatively important uh, to push them off right here, and then they'll have to walk all the way around here up again. Um, so I have uh, two ceiling electric fields here and then two uh, ceiling zappers here. And we have three wall launchers that are lined up here with uh, tar pits and stagger recyclers here. Uh, so they're going to walk all the way out here, and then they're going to be on the storm shield. But realistically, nothing's ever going to get that far. So uh, now let's like look at the block off and how we're going to achieve that. So um, the block off's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to look here. It's a let's see one. Okay, so we're we're going to take this uh, step by step. So starting at that wall launcher, which is behind this ball right here. If we look to the right of it, it's a three by three of full sandwiches. So these uh. These include the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the edited floor pieces, but at the first uh, full sandwiches, we're going to have to uh, edit the walls down like this, uh, because husks and uh, phase through these walls and uh, get into this box and it gets really annoying. So we have those edited uh, like as regular floors. So if you look under here, these are regular floor pieces at the beginning of it. The rest of them are like full sandwiches with uh, the floor pieces edited towards the south. Um, so that's a three by three. We're going to take to the right of it. It's going to be a two by two to the right of it. And then one little full sandwich here, as well as, uh, ones above, uh, these two with, uh, all these are, uh, facing the Southwest. Uh, this is for the, uh, West tunnel, but it also contributes a little bit to our South tunnel, uh, as well as this is facing the Southwest and this is facing the Southeast cause it's protecting, uh, these walls. Uh, so the husks don't come up here this way. So uh, this uh, this is three layers long. This is three layers long. This is a three by three. This is a two by two with them going to the southeast. Um, these these are full sandwiches. These two, uh, two by one. That's behind the wall launcher. And this is going to be a two by one with uh, no full sandwiches. This one actually apparently is a full sandwich, which it really doesn't need to be. Uh, as well as we're going to have one little sandwich behind here. It's going to be a half sandwich. And then uh, there's just ramps and walls surrounding the amplifier. So we don't want to attach our uh, our block off to our amplifier because uh, then smashers will charge it because they'll think it's a part of the amp. So we, we've left this space here. Okay, so uh, now we're going to talk about like uh, little quirks about it and uh, other pieces of block off. So... The husks that spawn here, uh, over here, will want to go around here sometimes. So we have this blocked off in a 2x2 two two grid. Uh, this should be sufficient. I have it as full sandwiches. You could probably leave it as uh, not full sandwiches. Um, you could probably leave it as uh, half sandwiches without the floor pieces in there. But I did this a while ago, so um, I'm leaving the block off how it is. As well as um, 
over here, we have to block off this side of C because it doesn't get attacked and there's no cross spawn here. But some of the husks spawn right on where I'm at and they'll want to walk through here. So there is... Uh, this will contribute to uh, C's block off as well. But um, there is a... Let's see. Two by two layer of uh, block off that's not full sandwiches. It's just regular uh, sandwiches without these little uh, uh, wall pieces here. And it's just ramps connected to each other. And then a wall behind it. Uh, and then they, we have like a little lobber shield here for also for C, but uh, uh, we can't connect it here because uh, I've had husks uh, in way later waves want to break through all this block off, come over here and walk up onto the lobber shield. So that's not connected anymore. The l flingers shouldn't throw from over there for C. But um, yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about the lobber shield now. So all of this is tunnel right here. So at this little ridge, uh, we're going to go out one tile two tile three tile and then we're going to take it one tile two tile three tile four tile five tile six tile seven tile eight tiles so a three by eight grid of uh lobber shield and then uh we have this grid that uh is all along right here so it's a three by eight tile of lobber shield uh but there's a dual purpose to this so if you go under here they're sealing electric fields over the spawn uh in a two by three grid that will zap all the rest of the husk down here um as well as it contributes to the lobber shield for seaside because uh husk from sea south will want to travel over here sometimes because there's a storm shield here um but let's see so realistically, like that should get the husk pathing and should easily get you through wave one. Um, it'll get you through your later waves too. Um, AFK, as I've ha I've ran this about five times since the new update since 12.00, and uh, it's passed every single time. So it's it's going pretty decent. Um, but that should be the uh, block off and the tunnel for uh, Storm Shield South. Um, so we'll run through it again just to make sure you guys got it. So. We're going to start off with, oh yeah, yeah, I, I should probably mention this. So husks, sometimes little husklings, not the regular husks, will beat on this because they want to get to you because we're AFK'd, right, near Storm Shield. So they'll want to beat on this. So I just put three little electric fields up here and it just one shots them. Uh, that way we don't have to really deal with those because uh, if they beat on this enough, they'll make one uh, husks want to come over here because it's a weakened wall. But uh, so we have the ceiling electric field spawn trap. Uh, we come up here, they're going to get rocked by the... Um, the ceiling drop tap, ceiling drop trap on the ramps. Uh, we have ceiling zapper, wall launcher, sound wall, floor spike, floor spike, sound wall, wall launcher, ceiling zapper, ceiling zapper, wall spike, or not wall spike, floor spike, uh, wall launcher, sending them off. Um, floor spike, sound wall, electric field, tar pit, wall launcher, ceiling electric field, tar pit, wall launcher, ceiling electric or ceiling zapper, uh, tar pit. Wall launcher, ceiling zapper, and that should be your tunnel. So also for building around the amp, uh, so just surround it in walls except for this north side, uh, and then put uh, ramps on the the east and the ramps on the west side, and that should cover uh, like you're covering the amp. And we we build around the amp mainly because smashers will charge your tunnels if there's nothing no builds around the amps because they'll think, uh, hey, I don't have to get to an objective, so I'm just gonna smash any wall. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys like this build, let me know. Uh, I'll include some gameplay footage after this uh, of it actually working. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this build, let me know uh, in the comment section. Uh, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. We're going to be going over every single amp in Candy Valley Endurance. Uh, but thank you guys for watching.